Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Obviously, coming up next week on November 16th, we are going to see the launch of Season 1, which is set to debut with DMZ, then also, of course, Warzone 2.0, making it the single, like, biggest content update in Call of Duty history in terms of what it's bringing to the game with two brand new modes and, of course, all the seasonal content that we've talked about already. However, over the past, you know, 24 hours or so, we've gained even more information about what is likely happening with the Season 1 update and what's presumably going to be the 1.09 title update that makes it, uh, you know, even bigger than we expected. We've got some new information on the physical update itself, alongside some leaks that are probably going to make a lot of multiplayer and Warzone 2 players very, very excited. Let's start first with the actual update information. Uh, if you guys didn't know, you can actually preload the Warzone 2 download. Now, I'm not sure if this is like the full on title update that we're preloading here, or if it's just simply the Warzone 2 application. And then come, you know, November 16th, we're going to have to still download the 1.09 title update, which means you're going to have to have even more space on your platform. But you can preload quote unquote Warzone 2 uh, starting on November 14th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So starting on Monday at 10 a.m. PST, you'll be able to download that ahead of time so that you have the full game downloaded ready for November 16th. And I believe the update in the actual game launches at 10 a.m. Pacific on the 16th then. So you can have that fully prepared and, uh, you know, just tossing it out there. You probably want to take advantage of that preloading because Warzone 2's file size has been leaked, at least on Xbox. And it's probably going to be very similar on PlayStation and PC. The leak is saying that this update, Warzone 2 in and of itself, is going to be 115 gigabytes on day one for Xbox. So uh, quite a significant download to say the least. And that's extra, you know, large considering MW2 is already over 100 gigs in size, meaning now if you want to have Warzone 2 and MW2 installed, you're going to have to have at least 215 gigs of space but like i just said the preload is just simply downloading warzone 2. come november 16th we're gonna have the actual title updates which is going to be at least somewhat significant you know uh a few days back xbox had that massive 50 gig update for like no real patch notes that's not a great indicator of what the season one update could be but it is slightly concerning considering the little amount of things that changed with that update and the major amount of things we know are changing with season one with obviously dmz also opening up in there and i assume that's probably included uh you know largely in that warzone 2 download but still we've got that we've got all the new maps all the new uh weapons the battle pass all that content the store bundles so on and so forth that's all going to be included in this update of course alongside everything else that's meant for the future that ultimately is probably going to end up getting data mined out of the season one update itself so the warzone 2 download by itself huge 115 gigs but then two days later on the 16th we all know the 1.09 title update is going to drop as well and that's also going to be a decently significant sized update if i had to guess we don't have the exact specifics on the season one patch but all seasonal updates are very big in size and they have been for at least the past three years right so we can expect decent size there too so uh hopefully you guys got some good space on your hard drives you might need to go out and invest in an alternative hard drive or an alternate hard drive just to make sure you have enough to keep uh, both games if you're interested in playing them both now we have a bit more information on what this download and what the update is going to be like itself we also like i said earlier have some really spicy leaks on some content included with this update but Real quick before we go ahead and get into that, just want to remind you guys that right now around 54% of viewers watching are not already subscribed and every single day I got you covered with news, updates, class setups, tips, all things going on in COD. You are going to find it right here and we are getting super close to 900,000 subs now under 20,000 subs away. It would be insane. It's a super lofty goal, but it would be insane if we could get super close to 900k before the launch of Warzone 2. So if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Join us on the road to 900,000 subs. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like on it as well. Now, I've seen a lot of questions, a lot of concerns about the Warzone 2 download with uh, it being a separate application versus a standard sort of uh, mixed in application with MW2. And by everything that we've seen so far, especially on Bnet, which has the I think the best way to, uh, you know, look at the download where you can modify your install. It does look like technically Warzone 2 is going to be a, a download included with the MW2 application. So unfortunately, uh, you know, that could potentially 
cause some issues in the future in terms of upgrading and expanding the game just like with mw 2019 and warzone 1 being stuck on the same map however they have gone through and explained that you can essentially have warzone 2 downloaded without needing everything for mw2 if you don't want mw2 or if you don't have mw2 to play right at the same time you can have everything for mw2 downloaded without having anything for warzone 2 downloaded that's not a mandatory download by any means unlike mw 2019 in warzone 1 so that's some good news there it is the same application technically for both of these games but they are different downloads and going forward with the whole you know call of duty hub basically that we have uh you know on the main menu that should be able to distinguish games enough so that warzone 2 is not going to be held back when you know the next treyarch game drops or whatever is dropping premium in uh, in 2023 we shouldn't be held back because it's technically on the same app it's just there for convenience now with the downloads being optional on both sides. Now let's move on to these gameplay leaks regarding some multiplayer content and some Warzone 2 content that I'm sure some players are going to be very relieved to hear. Uh, this info is coming from the ghost of Saba over on Twitter, who was actually suspended right after these uh, leaks went out, I noticed, but I was able to, you know, take a peek at these before they were uh, obviously taken down. And these are all modes that were data mined and leaked and apparently are going to be coming here either throughout season one or season two or the relatively, you know, near future uh, with some of the seasonal updates. It is interesting because with season one, we don't really have any new modes previewed outside of the CDL mosh pit, which is more of a competitive side thing, not necessarily appealing to all, uh, you know, player bases there. So very niche mode that was on the roadmap and nothing else, uh, you know, for modes was confirmed, which is odd considering we were supposed to have gunfight drop in season one. That was information we had confirmed like six months ago. Anyways, when it comes to leaked modes for Warzone, it was in fact leaked that plunder is in the game files, which yes is great news i've seen so many comments uh you know on the videos here or over on twitter which by the way if you don't follow me over there feel free to do so uh at who's immortal but plunder is it going to be in the game how are we going to have that casual mode are we going to have to play dmz it does look like plunder is going to be an alternative ltm we don't know if it's going to be there right at launch i would imagine it would be because they're trying to you know cater these games as much to casual players as possible Plunder is the most casual mode. It's the most laid back and best mode for leveling up weapons for free to play players, experiencing the game in a much more casual environment. So I'd be very surprised if uh, if Plunder is not there at launch. It's possible though, it could be a later edition. We'll have to wait and see there. But by the, uh, you know, all indications in the files, it should be coming to Warzone 2. The rest of these modes seem to be for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. This includes Infected, so it would be our first quote-unquote party game. Uh, gun game, you know, sticks and stones, stuff like that. No mention of any of that so far, but Infected does appear to be in the game files. We also have Cyber Attack, a mode that we saw back in MW 2019. Honestly, went over pretty well. I've seen a decent amount of comments and questions asking where that could be, so that's also in the files. There's another mode called Bounty. We're not too sure what exactly that could be. Perhaps it's going to be similar to, like, King of the Hill, but we already have knockout right so kind of strange there uh we've got war apparently which uh if you remember call of duty world war ii war was a pretty cool mode kind of ground war-esque on the larger maps but it's very much so uh you know forced pacing because the map sort of flows as the objective moves from you know point a to point b the map sort of flows with that and then also there's another mode called war bomb i'm not sure if maybe that's a leftover file or if there's going to be two potential war modes for multiplayer we're going to really just have to wait and see for that one but definitely some interesting information i think players will really be excited to hear about infected and cyber attack for multiplayer and especially excited for plunder potentially dropping here in warzone 2. of course with this update coming next week i'm going to have you guys up to date with all the latest news and updates but also once warzone 2 drops the best class setups the best tips everything you guys need to know to improve at that game alongside dmz and mw2 as well so if you want to guarantee you're up to date with all things going on in cod every single day be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like on it on your way out. Let's try and aim for 3,000 likes on this one. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But that's effectively going to wrap things up for today. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.